Going to be starting out with just a basic Ned rig. First cast. You gotta be kidding me. Holy smokes. Y'all check that out. So I got this beautiful smallmouth on the first cast. Probably not gonna catch another fish, but I'm gonna try. Uh, I haven't eaten a smallmouth in a while. I usually let them, I let 99% of them go. Every once in a while, I'll take one, fillet it up, Put some black seasoning on it. Some of the best freshwater fish I've eaten. This one's perfect size, perfect eating size. I'm gonna show you how to make black and smallmouth fillets here in a minute. But first, let's go and uh, see if we can't catch a couple more. Oh no, I'm, that was a big fish. That thing swam with it. I don't think I got a good hook set on it. Obviously I didn't. Spat the dang thing out. Holy smokes, what was that? There might be a monster in here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Good fish. Is that a large mouth? A great, no. Yeah, no. Another small mouth. Oh, what a beaut. Freaking beautiful fish. Good lord. There's some freaking nice fish in here. Look at that. Another big chunky small mouth. Perfect hook set. Holy smokes. I didn't bring my scale or my measuring tape or anything, but that one will go, oh, I don't know, 17, 18 inches, probably. Let's measure it on the rod. Go back later and uh, see, measure the rod, I guess. It's up to the letter I. Y'all remember that. We're gonna go back and measure that one later. What a pretty fish. I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to fish too much longer. Y'all might be a little blind about the sun, but... Oh, there's a log in the water and everything. Oh, I guarantee there's a freaking big old smallmouth hiding up in there. Try not to get hung. Oh, I got it right on the log too, like on my side of the log. Perfect. Probably not gonna catch anything, but it's a good spot. That was a fish. I saw a flicker. I didn't, my, my fault, excuses. I didn't know for sure it was a fish. I didn't set the hook soon enough. I saw it flicker. It was a fish, not as big, but it was a small mouth. Right, let's try this again. I feel something, anything, almost at the hook. Let's try this. I gotta fish this whole current seam needs to be fished. There'd be something anywhere in here. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, that's a good fish. Oh, 
this is still a great fish it's a little smaller than the last two but they're all good sized fish like i haven't caught a little one yet usually when you're fishing a creek this size you usually catch a bunch of real small ones and a couple big ones but they've all been good sized fish look at that I put these fillets on an angle so the water can drain off while I get this fire a little bit hotter. Take this and scoop up some butter, and uh, we'll melt this down. This will be for the fish. Let that melt as this griddle heats up. All right, for these fillets, I'm gonna just cover them in butter. Try not to rub the seasoning off.
Look at that. Flaky white. Just the way you want it. I didn't bring a fork to eat the potato hash, but I think I'll manage. I don't encourage people to keep a lot of smallmouth, especially in creeks where they grow real slow. They supposedly grow real slow. Um, but every now and again, it's like a little treat. You know, keep about 14 to 15 inch fish. That one was probably closer to 18, but still perfect eating size. That's some good fish right there. And that Chef Paul's black and redfish magic is all I've ever used to blacken fish. It's it's my favorite. Hmm.